Wait, so you mean you can actually read and write? I only know Battlefield sign. In that case, I know a place you might be interested in. It's a bunker beneath the city, pretty far underground. Last time I was there, I heard they still had a library somewhere. That was near a decade ago, but if you're lucky, the books haven't all been used for tinder or toilet paper yet. Over time, the battlefield warps your perceptions. Smoke blinds you and confounds your sense of direction. The ground shakes from impacts and explosions. Your ears are the only thing you can really rely on. But even then, what you're listening for is a pin drop inside of a hurricane. Sometimes I can't even hear the gunfire, but I can still hear the shell casings hit the ground. That rings loud in my ears. Those shell casings can sometimes be repacked well enough to pass the munitions scanner. But the thing you really learn to listen for is the breathing. The irregular, ragged breaths of dying men. Men who are about to permanently relinquish their possessions. A feast for a scavenger. Where do I get the gunpowder and slugs to repack the bullets? From the wind. <laughs> no, seriously though. The powder I collect with special filtration netting. The bullets with blocks of foam. You just have to know where to put them and when to pick them up. Over the years I've found some ways to feed off of the war without getting as close. Let's keep moving. The bunker is this way.